you have messed with the rest, now the best will make a mess! Implement the commercial enterprise! <laughs> change my microphone to voice mod and the computer blue screen I should have known when I had to reboot before the stream started because of the sound settings being borked that it was only a matter of time before that was going to happen <sighs> I really need to get the drivers fixed on this thing but I just don't know when it's so annoying why was God ah, why is there a hype train why but thank you Joe with the Banui Vinnies. Banui! You didn't have to do that, but thank you kindly. No message, but appreciate it. Trudell, what the hundo saying? For the funds fund? <laughs> thank you, Trudell. And Yami, for the hundo. Thank you kindly. What is your favorite Pokemon, Ralph? <laughs> the Ed Boys Pokemon. <laughs> God damn it. Yo, you didn't have to do now, as I was attempting to do before being rudely interrupted by the machine, Wank along the hard Pokemon. In trend, this female Pokemon with the sweet, alluring scent that wafts from all over its body. Mm. Meat. Meat. <laughs> oh, the meat. Enzy Dex. Oink, oink. Good job, piggy. Now over the bridge we go. You know what? Maybe I will put the baby back in the box. Save the babies for later when I have the bell. Uh, hmm. Who to replace you with? How about one of the new mons? How about Wiglet? <laughs> I want to see what Wiglet involves into. <laughs> Are Cortando Cascarafa. Hmm, that's where we want to go. Let's go. Dear Mario. <laughs> Princess Toadstool. Peach. God damn it, Trudel! Thank you for the 225. Choo choo! Choo choo indeed. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Appreciate it. Alright, set that as destination. Let's go! If I was on call, I would bonk you. <laughs> I'd be bonked regardless of being on call or not. <laughs> Ace could do, we can do. Hey, let's talk. Get interact with the locals wherever you go is one of the best you parts of traveling. The rest, now the best will make a mess. Implement the commercial enterprise. <laughs> Mateo. I like trains and so does Ralph. Thank you, Yami, for the hundo. We should. Also. Eh, hey, boy? You were still offline on the Discord, by the way? Oh, shit, you're right. Oops! I knew there was something I forgot to click on. Discordo! Discordo! Now he's back. Ooh, wow, you're quite the character. Also, boop! Let's go! Continuing on towards our next destination, 
But good, there's a Pokemon Center right there. It was carrying a coin! I'm trying to find a widow Pokemon carrying a coin! Yasmin! <laughs> Discarder! The train derailed, but it's a thought that counts. Thank y'all! You have to do that! Did this! I just looked at my remaining ditch balance. Uh oh. <laughs> Is it a meme number? <laughs> Don't use those eyes on me, mister. Low sweep. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Trudeau, thank you for the 69 bitties. Here you go, the last of my bits. Nice. Hello, Gabri. Tink-a-tink. Huh. Interesting. Eat this. Can't decide if I should get Scarlet this payday or wait a month. Mm. It is a tough decision. Well, I mean, I know there's a couple people in the community that are waiting until Christmas to get it. But the decision is yours. The choices are yours. And yours alone. And the rinky tinky tinky. Ah, I see somebody else knows Aristocats. Everybody wants to be a cat. Because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. I'm trying so hard, but I can't find it. I just stare at the tall grass. Poor kid. You'll get it someday, honey. Let's go! You'll find it someday. I know you will. Ooh, Nummel. A numble out here in the rain? That can't be good for you. Just don't kill it. I say don't kill it, and I killed it. Oops! Four times. Yep, because it's ground and fire. Oops! Oopsie daisies. <laughs> Nope, think about the map. Where would this path lead me to? Oh, lead me towards another grassy area. Hmm. We got time. We can do this. A lovely prize. Oh, goody. There's another Nummel. But... <gasps> but first, I should probably heal my Quaxwell. No, not a picnic. You can't set up a picnic while riding a mon. This. Waiting for Christmas to get mine to treat myself after most of my semester is over. There you go. Tink a tink a tink is the reason taxis in this game can't use Corviknight. Really? Hmm. I'm interested to know the lore behind that one. Ball. Now we were going back to our topic on hand before chat. If there is a shiny that you that you wish you could change, which shiny would you change for any Pokemon? Nummel. Nummel, the num Pokemon. The flaming magnet it stores in the hump on its back is the source of its tremendous power. Just make sure you don't hump that hump. <laughs> Otherwise, it's probably going to be burning you. <laughs> I 
I still say Garchomp. Change it to look like Gibble's Shiny. Yes! Gibble's Shiny is amazing. Garchomp says, ugh, ugly. Hi, Zachman! Blinks! Who remembers back when Phalanx was first introduced, all the the memes that spread over Twitter? Especially, it walks perfectly in sync with the hiker dance. Dun, 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 dun. That's it, boss. I am bonking you the next time I'm on call. <laughs> I say it would be interesting if they changed all the shinies look a little different from the normal somehow, as well as color change. Hmm. In terms of like, I'm trying to think. Hmm. Absorb. Hmm. Let me see. Eh. Get rid of tackle. Like how the Pikachu's tail looks different from the male and female Pikas. Hmm. Nah. To me, color change is good enough in my book. The links, the formation Pokemon. The leader, known as the Brass, uses it uses its extendable horn to issue orders to the others when it's time to change formation. So based on the beat per measure of the song that's playing, will determine how fast they march. Forward march to the box. Speaking of Tinka Tink, you shall be mine. More Pokemans to catch, and then we shall be on our way. Ooh, close one. Ooh, I see a Bronzor in the back. I was waiting for Bonk more of the commentary on this one. <laughs> Get some Eurobeat going for Phalanx! <laughs> More for our collection! Tinka Tink, the Metal Smith Pokémon! This Pokémon pounds iron scraps together to make a hammer. It will remake the hammer again and again until it's satisfied with the result. That's right! Keep doing it until it looks perfect! Mwah. It's all about trial and error, folks. You keep trying again until you get it just right. Or if you really want Phalanx to start marching some metalcore... Mmm! Oh, hi, Rock Ruff! Didn't see you there! Naughty dog, you shall be punished! Ah, be squeezed! It's super effective. Chat used hug. It's super effective. Okay, question for Pokemon players here. What level does Wigglet evolve? Hey, Bronzor. Ooh, you look shiny here. Payback. Woo! Gotta go hit. I don't think so. Take this! Haha! -ha! Very nice. Bronzor, the bronze Pokémon. They are found in ancient tombs. The patterns on their backs are said to be imbued with mysterious power. <gasps> it's a mysterious power, which means everybody is going to want it. But if it turns out this mysterious power is not that good, you might regret it in the end.
Sometimes mysterious powers can go in any direction. It could be good, or it could be terrible. <laughs> it could be terrible. Now, what's in these? Mmm. Dusk Ball. More effective at night. Hey, Squidward, check this out. I'm catching Pokemon at night. Ow! I got burned! At night. Night, 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 night. Night, 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 night! Oof, Sparkly! Energy root! I'm just no good. Look at evolves at 26. Aha! Okay then. Adam! I forgot about this mon. You're not Elephant the Elephant. I'm taking you down. Hello, Lost King. Graveyard ship, such a great episode. Yes! SpongeBob, no matter what I've said, I've always sort of liked you. Squidward, I used your clarinet to unclog my toilet. See? I told you. Hey, no self deprecation. No self deprecation. That's not good for you. <gasps> we found the Gimme Ghoul and a coin. Pee pee up. No time for a raid, but there's time for picking up this. Hex! What the fuck? Hex! It's not Hex, it's Hex! <laughs> I think Dust Ball is my most used ball throughout the series. So many caves. Mmm. Definitely comes in handy in the caves there, I'll tell you that much. Well, I gotta be careful here. Good! Full restore! Nomo! Swap blue! Get out of the way! What's right here? A paralyzed heal. What about up there? Actually, before I continue, where will that take me? Okay, so that does lead to a dead end. Good. Just what I wanted. We'll continue exploring this area and then we'll get back on the main path once we finish up what we're looking for here. Hmm. Excuse me, Swablu. We don't want you to be all black and blue from being run over. No, we don't want any Pokemon road kills here. Bang Geeks is still the best po SpongeBob episode ever. I agree. Very much so on that one. We found iron. Ghastly Nubble. More horses. What is this? What are you? Palmo. Is that one of Palmy's evolved forms? Ooh. It is. Also, hello, Greg. We got Palmo. Yay! Now, I know Palmy has two evolved forms. We just found one of them! Aqua Cutter. Let's see. Hiding chance of landing a critical hit. Mm. Oh god, what do I get rid of? Uh, uh. Mm, Aqua Jet. I has all the spoilers because I has all the game completion. The game hasn't even been out a week yet! <laughs> Palmo, the mouse Pokemon. Palmo uses a unique fighting technique in which it uses its four paws to strike foes and zap them with electricity from its paw pads simultaneously. So yeah, needless to say, if this guy gives you a hug, it's going to be a very zappy hug. Zappity zap zap.
Don't let Pomo give you a a hug, or its paws are gonna zap you. I need to be able to watch stream reactions. No, I don't have a problem. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Entirely fair there. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> there's nothing there, so... Well, there's an item there that I missed, but I can go back for... what I hit? You again! Nimble, so tiny! There is something about with Palma that obviously isn't said by the game. Do you want to know or not? Eh, sure, why not? Something that isn't obvious about Pomo? Yes, please. Do tell. Grab you. A dire. <laughs> ah, skidoo. New skidoo. We can too. It evolves by walking a thousand steps with it in the overworld. Oh. Interesting. So get your exercise and you evolve. Cool. Pardon me, coming through. Okay, now we go down. Out of the way, yes, please. Okay. Now, what do you say? We try to make our way back to the main path. Like right here. Here is the map. Where do I wish to go? We're... On the path. Let's go. There's a cave right there, but... I'll go back there at a later time. There's a couple of Pokemon with that evolution method never explained in game. Hmm. Okay then. I'll have to keep a lookout then. Shiny. You've got Pokeball. Been having some nice battles? Yes, sir. Here's your prize. A clear amulet. Thank you. And now, I must heal. There, also, there isn't anything in the game that helps keep track of the progress of your steps, so, uh, good luck. Da! We have a whole ass smartphone now and it can't keep track of steps. Nope. Even my phone keeps track of my steps. So, I guess Rotom's not good enough for keeping track. Poor Rotom. Okie dokie. Stay on the path. Let's go. Oh, wait. Sparkly? Ah, Ghastly! Also, we're pushing the area I had my shiny mud bray fail. Who knows? I can't escape! Ever alert, Quaxwell has trained himself to sleep with his eyes open. Clear amulet is an entire skill and item form. It's broken. Mmm. Interesting. Excuse me. Are Ring! Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? I guess so. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Ah! Uh-oh. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? The name's Clive. Oh? And how long have you been spying on us? 
No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right? Amanda. I guess maybe? Aha! Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star. That's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Nah, not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Hmm. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. But welcome to the operation, Clive. Great. That settles it, then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each of Team Star's bases, and you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we have to oust these bosses from the rules somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has his own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of the bases now, in fact. Ah, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those is, a, is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Amanda. They're basically decorations of war. Without my consent? Ah! Now all of Team Star knows we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all those bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Amanda. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Amanda's support. You're a cautious one. Alright, I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good luck hunting out there. Well, go get him, Amanda. I was just about to say, this guy looks very much like the director. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Sure, that's very suspicious. He looks exactly like him. I mean, I want to go to the map. So, the base is that way, but we want to go this way to the town. So, backing up, backing up, backing up. Whoops. How do you do, fellow kids? First, I want to deal with the gym, and then we'll deal with that. Hello. Who's there? Oh, I saw something there. Nope, never mind. Sparky, a pretty feather, and three great balls. Hmm. Or, I guess we're gonna have to go to the base. Oops, hold that thought. To the base. Hello, cool owl. Whee! On second thought, we're going to the base first and then the gym. Sounds like a plan. Hello, Celebi. I did the exact same thing when I got here. Mm. 
Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may notice as the Sagan Squad. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, Amiga, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up, just a hunch here. Are you that Amanda kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, she says. Cool as a cucumber. Honesty is not always the best policy, you know. Ugh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or you're getting thrashed by me in battle. What'll it be? You're on. <laughs> Sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stumped in the dirt. Cool. Mark Rao! The grunts are disgruntled by your presence. Oh, right, Quaxwell's asleep. Ah, Flaffy! I choose you, Flapples! Haze! All stat changes were eliminated. It ain't gonna eliminate zappity zap zaps. Take this! Wing attack, nice try. Banger of a track, though, I will say. Aha! Why did such a sassy kid have to be so strong? Give me your money. How the heck could I lose? Grah. Well, whatever, it's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. <laughs> She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. <sighs> well, I'm going to go into the base now and give the rest of the squad a heads up. We'll come at you with full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amiga. Hasta la vista. Get it? Hasta la vista, but hasta la vista, cause a team star. Nip. Bring. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Mm. Now hold up in that base is Team Star's dark crew, the Sigan Squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole uh, Team Star. And he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. <laughs> so he's a music producer and a team later huh am i glad he's, he's frozen in there and that we're out here and that he's the sheriff and that we're frozen out here and that we're in there and <laughs> i just remembered we're out here what i want to know is where's the caveman what i want to know is where's the team star leader zoinks joe with the 300 cutscene ruiner bitches <laughs> thank you appreciate it that wouldn't be appropriate if it came out of the rotom phone <laughs> His plan is to probably wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself <laughs> shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Seagan squad off the map. Yes. Am I glad they're in there and we're out here? What I want to know is where's the master? Wake up! Put on a little makeup! My keys are on the table! <laughs> now we want to move... Put Flaffy back in front. Let's go! Let me in. The first three Pokemon in your party. Oh! In that case... Flaffy, Quaxwell, and Flachinder. Most important thing. Save! Okie dokie. Now we're going in. Ding ding! Flaffy! 
Careful now, Amanda. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you need to use the R button to send out multiple, multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Mm. Bzz, Heads up, gang! Some jumped up kid has wandered into thinking she can raid our base. Later, she doesn't know who she's messing with. Let's teach her a lesson she won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss just might honor you with an appearance. Mm. Star Barrage! Send out your Pokemon with the R button to try and defeat a set number of Team Star's Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on the Star Challenge of Star Barrage, you can have three Pokemon out at the same time. You're losing the Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn to, out to battle or if time runs out. If one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can help you recover health by using a vending machine. If you decide you want to give up, press the Y button. Three, two, one! Let's go, team! Let's go, team! Go get him! You got this, Flaffles! Now, get over here! Go! Take him out! It's four! Let's see... Where are you? All these guys are so cute, I don't want to kill them, but I have no choice! Flachinder, where are you going? Return! Seven out of thirty. Alright, you! I choose you! I choose you! Good job! That's ten! I hear Mons! Over there! Nimbles! No problem for me! Go get him! Halfway there! Now, Stunkies! Go get him, my Mons! Very nice. But now, over here! Get them over there. Boom! You know, I like this. This is a nice, a nice alternate form of battling. Take this! They give way too much time for these challenges. Mm -mm. Well, it also depends on your team, I suppose. If they were, like, too weak, it would take a lot longer. Alright, 26... Go get him! And finish! She's way above our level! We gotta get the boss! That's a hell of a ride you got there. Giacomo. You've done a real number on us, party crasher. Amanda, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! I think it's Italian, so via yeah. Como? Beats me? Alright, eat up, baby! Alright, you... You don't really think things through, do ya? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. Well, technically, it wasn't my fault. Huh? 
Ponyard, I know you're part steel, so you won't be good against fire. Case in point, right there. Ha! How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up. Good party crasher. I don't think so. Taste my flame charge! Nice try! Even with a critical hit, your attack went down because of the burn! <laughs> Take this! Well, that didn't kill it, but the burn shall, shall will! Hello, Skylar! It sure will kill it! Kaboom! Good job, Burb! Rev of Room! Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Wait. That thing is a Pokemon? That thing is a Pokemon? Excuse me? Beep, beep. We need to pull the car over. Ah! Well, yes and no. Hmm. Hello, Butter. Ah! Let's hit her. All right, Quacks. Well, it's up to you, Angie Car. Look closely at the car, and you'll see. In that case, awake. Truck Coon, are we about to get Isekai? <laughs> All right, you stop. There we go. Get a hit on you. But now, I just really need to heal. Critical hit. How dare you? Right, lower your speed. Hmm. I'm glad I learned this move. Nice try. Take this. Jeez, even with those two speed downs, it was still faster than me. Take this. Not taking any chances. Keep using super potions. <laughs> the Sigan Starmobile is the cousin of the gun truck from Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. Oh, damn it. Now is not the time for sleeping. This ain't a lullaby. Take this. Full restore. Time for snooze and missing some kind of lullaby. All right, you metal sound. At least didn't attack you that time. Take this. Snarl. Ooh. Yeah! Ooh, I'm 
almost got you. Mm, aqua cutter! Boom! Break those engines! Yay! Kaboom! Yahoo! Guess that's that. Yeah! <laughs> About a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up? Yeah, Gomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to take wanted my take on some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? We gotta figure out we gotta make some team rules like a code, so we'd all be on the same page. Nice! You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you? Yeah, Como? Ha! No thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Cuz, of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation it made manifest. My point exactly! So you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You always look out for us. You earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council pres just isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by Gikomo I'm looking at now. I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write out the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. Here, take my star badge, will ya? Ha-ha! Let's shake on it. I'll give you this choice, TM, too. You've earned it fair and square. Foul play! Ah, <sighs> so this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learned those trainer chops at the academy? Like, what moves you use and stuff? Sure did. Huh. Okay, you like it at the academy? Having fun? Yeah, no kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a quack swell to style that up for you? I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure, I guess that's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for a time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why don't you break off the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? Then it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll actually be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like, how's a top champ? How there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him, I don't know, it must be about a year and a half now. We thought that if we've kept Team Star going, they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits, and then we get part of crashers like you two. Hmm. Maybe the Big Boss did catch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Heh, <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put it into words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Well, that's one out of five bases down. Here comes the sun. Doo 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 doo. Bring. 
Amanda, it's me. It seems Gia Como no longer carries a star badge, the symbol of his status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? Mm-hmm. I see. With its boss out of the picture, the singing squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Gia Como. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Thank you! You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM machines. These new TMs should help improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you materials for making TMs. Thank you! H hello uh, I'm Penny, from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But, um, uh, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know? The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Thank you! You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of the Team Star bases. Also, um, I heard about how you had your Pokemon charge in the battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Bye! That Eevee backpack is so cute! Well, chat, that's one base down. Now we can safely head towards the gym. Let's see, what's the quickest way to go? Can we shortcut through here? Let's explore. Actually, yes, we can. Here's a shortcut. Go! If you didn't notice, you don't get experience from Team Star, so if you have trouble with them, you can't just grind against them over and over like you can with the gym. Mmm, I did notice that. So, just gotta be very careful. Alright, troops! To the next gym! Oh, I wonder if the Pokemon Center website will sell those backpacks. <laughs> They'd be great sellers. That barricade. That barricade over there is part of Team Star Base. Team Star is trouble, so battle me instead. With that floating Pokeball for a second. Alfredo. Hey, chat. You see that in the distance? Garp. Had to do it! Garp! Arrokuda! No thanks! Little did he know, she already pulverized Team Star! Yes! Well, in this part of Paldea, anyway! <laughs> like this! Alfredo, be down! I guess I couldn't trick you even with a s such a slick battle invitation. Give me your cash. You can't ride me right on here. Now we can. Nummel. Ah, we made it. And now, heal me, please. It looks like Big Big Al from Toy Story. Mmm. Al's Toy Barn. 
I knew there was something about it I didn't like about that chicken. Pokey Mark. Oh, hey! I see that in the corner. Pokey Mark. Meeting all your Pokemon needs. Through <laughs> these two. There we go. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, please. I would like some... Some more super potions. Some more Pokeballs and Great Balls. Actually, Pokeballs I'm okay with. Uh, Great Balls. 14 of these, please. Magikarp still using that mistranslated move. Yep. Ain't that the truth. Uh, awakening two of these. Uh, I'll throw some good with, paralyzed heal, good with, everything else, a-okay. I spy a gimme ghoul. Hello there! You got coin! We made it to town! Time for a siesta! They call Casca Rat. Rafa, the city of water. I'm sure you could see why. Meryl! Easy beauty. Time to storm the fire crew base. Fire! The restaurants here are supposed to be really good. I hear some of the most use of fresh ingredients. Mm. Yeesh, looks like a good spot to spot some ingredients. Wait. Oh, you know how the tourists are. Noisy here, isn't it? Yeah. Go for broke grill! Hmm. Nah, none of these, please. Thank you. Oh, how cute. Who wants to go see the fountain? I do. Welcome to Spec Shack. We're delighted to see you. Ooh, we can buy glasses here. Yay! Let me see here. Would you like to wear them? No, thanks. I found Tom's glasses. <laughs> no, thanks. Wear glasses. Hmm. Sure, give them to me. No, thank you. How about black? Wear right away. No, thank you. All done shopping? Sure. You could buy different glasses too? You sure can. I like my current glasses for now. Ooh, damn. Sleep talk. Yeah, city of water, but there's, uh... There's a sandstorm. Casca Rafa. Roll your tongue when you say the R. Okay, then. Also, hat! A beanie! I think we found John's beanie. <laughs> a square cap? What does that look like? Mm, nah. A bucket hat? Well, sure. Sure, I'll buy it. I'm not gonna wear it. Splendid choice, my dear. No, thanks. Now give it to me. All done shopping? Yes. <laughs> I lead it en route to become a TRG. <laughs> Con Conglomerate. <laughs> or however you pronounce it. No!
I think if I was ever invited to do a TRG project, I think I'd need a new pair of pants. <laughs> Open the baggins, your go-to for quality bags. Yay! Baggin mark, meeting all your backpack needs. Not bad. What about... Oh, they're all the same kind? Okay, then. Hmm... Oh, it matches your outfit perfectly. Eh, sure, why not? I'll wear it. Cool. While I'm still young, I'm going to travel all over the place and take lots of photos while I'm still young. When I'm a little old grandma, I'll look through them all and remember the good old days. D going up. There we go. There's a barber shop. What's in here? Home to high fashion. Dazzling tights. Hmm. Very dazzling indeed. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, you need more money. All right. Never mind. I spent so much money, I don't have enough for it, but that's okay. Well, make our way to the gym. You've arrived at your destination. Vault and Velusa, I'm late, I'm late for a really important date. Ah, ah Kofu, wait! Ah, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Ah. Oh, hey! You're here as a gym challenger, right? Mm-hmm. I knew it! Of course you are! That big man that just left is Kofu, leader of the Casa... Casca... Ra... Of gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Would you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Sure! Oh, you're too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. Let's steal it. Nah, I'm just kidding. This could be a gym test here. If you can do this for me, you pass. He's headed for Porta Maria... Ma... Nada. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful, though. There are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. Ooh. Oh my god, it's a vin on that! Yep! Where are you? Find him and deliver it! We gotta go over there! Well, check! We may as well begin our journey! Let's go! Begin our journey across the desert! Big guy runs fast. Yes! He's got them legs. Let's go! Adios! Way to get into the desert. That way! Take the elevator, please. River in a dry land. Heartbeat for a tin man. Ha! <laughs> Can it swim? Glub glub glub. <laughs> Aracuda. A little swimming area for the Pokemans, I presume. You. But now, across the desert, we must go. Asado Desert. Beepy. Be careful walking through here, Alita, because I walked through here today and my game crashed. Uh oh. Well, in that case, I'm going to save just in case. But 
Quexwell, we're going across the desert, so you should go in the front. Oh, hey, Kecnia! Kecnia! Need to Kecnia! Take this! A saddle is a type of meat. <laughs> Yay! Just keep it away from James! Cacnea, the cactus Pokemon. It lives in arid locations. Its yellow flowers bloom once a year. And it tends to hug its trainers very hard, causing them pain with how pokey they are. Watch out, James! Oh my god, did I have the wrong voice on? Oops! <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Update the decks. <laughs> Cacnea, the cactus Pokemon, it lives in arid locations. Its yellow flowers bloom once a year, and it tends to hug their trainers very hard, causing pain with how pokey it is. Look out, James! I don't know. <laughs> Oops. Hello there. Snake. Silly Cobra. I remember you. You're such a silly Cobra. <laughs> The sand snake Pokemon. Silly Cobra's large nostrils are specialized for spraying sand. So this Pokemon is not very good at telling apart different smells. Quite silly, if you ask me. Since you're not giving them a nickname, you could disable nicknaming after catching in the options. Ooh, I didn't know you could do that. Well, in that case, let me go to the options menu. Don't show! Actually, it's just for battles. Uh, if you turn on this option, don't, don't skip cutscenes. Uh, that... Uh, hmm. Where is it that? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's the g give nickname option. I see it now. Cool. All right, continue. Get ya. Oh, hi there. Ring. Hello. Hey, Amanda. Apparently, this desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking on and, and uh, making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm going to sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. But we're not going for the Titans. Hello, Kirashi. Oh, I hit the Dom fan by accident. 25? No problem. Take this. Roll out. Uh -oh. Well, in that case, you don't want to see what the Titans like? Nah, tonight's focus is not on the Titans. My main goal for tonight was getting the next gym. Take this! Quack 
as well. Dead. Maybe run. I want this mod instead. Rufflet. It's burp time once again. It's bourbon time. Nice try. In that case, take this. Bourbon time. It's Bourbon time. Which, by the way, the, the official tribute video that the Power Rangers uh, Twitter put out today, definitely touching. Rest in peace, JDF. This Pokemon pierces its prey and then pecks at them. Although it is, it also consumes berries, it's a carnivore at heart. It's gonna peck at all the meat, baby! All the meat peckings! It's Morbin time! No, I don't want to battle you. I'm out of here. I couldn't get away. Shit. Well, in that case... In that case, I'll just zappity zap zap you. This baby bird is a bit peckish. Maybe. <laughs> I will say though, text, sometimes the text stays on too long the screen and then an event happens. You need to speed up a bit. Do this! Good girl. All right, let's go get out of the way from the Don fans. Get away from the Don fans. Wait, that's a Pokemon? What is this? Bramblin'. Right. Bramblin'. It's a tumbleweed. Mm, get in the ball. Too late. No! Blavi! Hey, precious Flavi! The Bramlin also evolves from walking. Aha! I mean, that would make sense because it literally rolls on the ground. So. Even not very effective, it got the five hits. Huh. 
Whoosh. May want to catch it before it gets burned to death. Take this. Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed indeed. Hi, love. And clear. Gotcha. Anticlimactic animation for the damage Fletchinder's taking. Yes. <laughs> Goodness. Bramblin, the tumbleweed Pokemon. Not even Bramblin knows where it's headed as it tumbles across the wilderness, blown by the wind. It knows getting wet. Well, if there's nobody in the vicinity of the desert, you see a tumbleweed, chances are it's probably a Bramblin. That means it's not so quiet around here after all. It's quiet. But not so quiet. Mm. In the decks. Yahoo! Hey, we got you. We got you. Just keep on going. What's a trainer doing all the way out here in the desert? Whoa, what is that turkey like, Bon? Hang on. We gotta revive and go get that turkey. I think that's a turkey. <laughs> We look like turkeys. Whoops. Nope, want the super potion. There we go. I've got the guitar. What are you, family jewels? What are you? Oh, it's Pathra? Uh, uh, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> mistakes were made. <laughs> Run. Mistakes were made. I couldn't get away. <laughs> Pluck. Well then. Note to self, running into bigger Pokemon right now may be a lot of problems for you. <laughs> Run! Evil turkey! It doesn't want to become Thanksgiving dinner! Ah! Oop, you mean to run to you? Tiny burb! You can check a Pokemon's level with ZL. I didn't know that. Oh, wow. Thank you. Or maybe I might have been told, but I think I went through the menus too fast. Thank you. Ooh, Fire Fang. That'd be very helpful. <laughs> but it's more fun going in blind. True. Ooh, get away from me, you, you bastard. Beemu, the beast that bested the Australian military. <laughs> I've got a guitar. That doesn't make a sound. This is why I told this so late. <laughs> you troll. <laughs> All right, dear. Oh, dear. So it's an air guitar. Mm. That would make sense. Excellent. Air guitar intensifies. Nice try. Do a deer, no longer a deer. <laughs> it's a dead deer. Just try, Luigi. I'm not coming, Luigi. 
This sweet dinosaur giving you a hard time, little brother. I'll fix him for you. Yo, thank you for the 225. No message, but appreciate it. <laughs> Dear Mario, here. Well, in that case, Flaffy. <laughs> Mama, Mama Luigi. <laughs> But then after he calls in the mama, we have to go to the King Koopa's Coney Island Disco Palace. Is it weird? I kind of want, kind of want to go to a disco palace. <laughs> ah! You double-edge me, but not only are you paralyzed, but you're now hidden recoil. Yeah, I fought my way out. I've been looking for you ever since. We gotta go back and rescue her. Well, then we better go now before I get scared just thinking about it. Uh, okay. Ah, hmm. In that case, let's give the pig some time to shine. Oink alone. It's a big pig. Give it a mud shot. Or I could miss. Oops. Lingering around ma. Haha, I cling to ya. Ha! Well, that comes right out of the tail. Ugh. No thanks. Hee hee! Acrobatics. Mm, let's see. This attack does massive damage if the user is, isn't holding an item. Ah, uh, hell yeah to that! Ta-da! I'm as victorious as my guitar is loud. <laughs> and it's none. <laughs> Alright. Continuing on. We must make our way through the desert. Get over there. You've got Oval Stone. Gee, I wonder which Pokemon evolves with that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps it's something that's happy and a peony. <laughs> the joy of youth. Oh, do I really want to battle you? Mm, fine. I should probably heal first. That's a good idea. Thank you. Well, while we're talking here, chat, let's go over what's happening the rest of this week, shall we? Whoops. Uh, yes, it's a good idea to save. Whoops. Oh, we just already saved. No thanks. So tomorrow, we'll be continuing Sonic Frontiers. No stream on Thursday and Friday? Saturday... If the weather is kind to me and Mooch getting back up here in time, maybe we'll do something together. <laughs> what shall it be, chat? You'll just have to wait and find out. <laughs> and then no stream on Sunday because I have a mod meeting, I think. We're in the desert, as if the sunlight needs to be any more harsh. Ah! Although that's more of disco sunlight I'm seeing. Who the belly? Who the who? Take this. 
after the cheerleader form, now we have the hula. Ooh. Well, in that case, then. Fluffy. Oh, yeah, this bird. Mmm. Hula bella hula hula. Ha! Missed! Taste my thunder of shocks! Or you could do that! Ha! Zap it is up, zap! The harsh sunlight faded! Now take this! Ha ha! Gone, burb. We found and murdered a lot of birds tonight. <laughs> ah, the folly of youth. Give us your cash. Let's get out of here. Are eh? If a paras. As Eddie says, HIPPOS! Hippopotas, how dare you start a sandstorm? I have found the king. I just saw a spoiler run in the background. Oh? Uh-oh. I'm trapped in the quicksand and in the sandstorm. It's not good. Ah! Thank you. Oh, what is that back there? <laughs> Hippopotamus, the hippo Pokemon. It shrouds itself in sand to ward off germs. It travels easily through the sands of the desert. A river in the dry land. However the song goes. Now, to the box! Well, hello there, sand dial! Ooh! I see the... S I see the... the beetle! Take this! I literally gave you the lyrics like 10 minutes ago. <gasps> My brain be pudding! Zip! <laughs> Torment! How dare you! Get in the ball! Thank you! Check the mod room, Michelle? Laker. Sandile, the desert croc Pokemon. They live on hidden under hot desert sands in order to keep their body temperature from dropping. Can't be a cool croc. Gotta be one hot croc. Alright, what's in the mod room? Yeah. Nice. Now come here, you little dung beetle! Or whatever you are. Relor? Get in the ball, Relor! Nope! Mud shot. Before you kill me, I am going to use a super potion. This is the last walking Evo. Okay, then. Critical hit. Back you. Thank you. Relor 
are the rolling Pokemon. It rolls its mud ball around while the energy it needs for evolution matures. Eventually the time comes for it to evolve. So it's pretty much based on a dung beetle, so that does that mean it's rolling around a ball of shit? <laughs> For that, you must be punished to the box. Ooh, get away from you. Oh, Jesus! Ah, he's coming for me! Or oh, she's coming for me! Ah. Another one named you? Sparkly! Another sparkly! Moonstone! And Cacnea Needle. You must get across the desert. So that's where the Titan is, I believe. Hello. Oh, there it is. <gasps> ah, Titan. You've got Nest Ball. Gotta get across. Quick to the map. Oh, I see how. Go back there. <laughs> Roda Rola. Ah! But yeah, if I were to, s if I were to guess what I hit. Oh, we hit a tumbleweed again. You couldn't get away. So you don't want to give it a hug? No! Infestation! Ow! No! I don't want to give it a hug! <laughs> That's fucking creepy! <laughs> Alright, you can't escape! Ah, I can't escape! The infestation has me trapped! I can't escape! Oh, yeah, the infestation of the sandstorm is going to kill me. Quaxwell! Alright. Playtime is over. Flachinder! <laughs> Roll the roller! Ah! Take this! Good bird! Soft sand indeed. But now let's get out of this crazy desert and go deliver that wallet. D None of you are shiny. Oh, hi there. Larvesta, we meet again. Sure, you can try and bite me, but you're going to be paralyzed. Yeah, I'm being squeezed. Do this. Ouch. All right, you. In there. Nice. Larvesta is the besta to be caught. Larvesta, the torch Pokemon. In ancient times, Larvesta was worshipped as the emissary of the sun. However, it was also viewed as a burden since it often caused forest fires. And remember, you too can prevent forest fires. Stop the Larvesta from causing forest fires. Praise the sun! Ooh, sparkly. If I can touch it. Stardust! Sendile Claw. Alright. West Province Area 2! <gasps> uh oh. Don't tell Reversal what we just found! Oh, 
I also see Blackies. Don't tell Reversal. We found his worst nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Flappy. Why is he not like Giraffe Rig? Because he had lots of trouble finding it in Pokemon Go. So much trouble. In Gen 9, Giraffe Ray got an evolution. Alright, you. Get in the ball! Ha! Gotcha! Very nice. Giraffarig, the long neck Pokemon. Giraffarig's tail has a small head. It instinctively bites at any foe that approaches the Pokemon from behind. Swiggity swoogy, do not go for that booty. We're gonna get a chompy. That's a booty you do not want to go for. Wild Flaffies and Meows. Ah. There he is. Vaulting Veluza. Where where in the world? You little flowers are getting battered by the sea breeze, something fierce. But you don't care. What strong, pretty little flowers. Where? Where in the world can I go to find more like you? Oh shoot, need to get down to the market. No, come back. Come back. We have your wallet. Ooh, shooting star. Make a wish. It's a meteor shower. Can you help me? No. Oh god. That's a lot of Tauros. No! You don't want to mess with those Tauros. <laughs> Come back and see us again. I'm beat. Hello, little Flaffy. Who is you so cute? Hello. Boink, boink. Tauros! <gasps> hey, where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Items and sparklies! There you are! Come back here! Please come back! There we go! Well, this is an interesting battle. Well then, ah, the Klyzar. This is interesting. We're literally at the top of the of the mountain there. <laughs> well then, we picked an interesting spot for a battle. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! First try. Psycho, Cyclizar. You're mine. Ooh, Mega Drain. Hell yeah to that. Way better than Absorb. And also that uh, Skidoo was having a front row seat to the action. Good Skidoo. Aw, it's cheering. Good Skidoo. Good Skidoo. We can do. Good 
Skid you. Cyclizar, the mount Pokemon. It can sprint at over 70 miles per hour while carrying a human. The rider's body heat warms Cyclizar's back and lifts the Pokemon's spirit. Mm -hmm. Body heat do very good job. Very good. Body heat, very good. Especially when it gets cold out. Oh, hi there. Rough. No time for doggo. No time for doggo. I'm also running out at stream time. Who knows? Taros, I'm gonna have to catch you another time. We made it! Feel that salty breeze on your skin! Alright, you. Where did you go? There you are! Wait, did I really go John mode for a bit? Uh oh! Is my microphone breaking? Fountain Belusa, where? Where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. I'll get borrowed by someone else. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kafu's in the middle of something super duper important ingredient buying. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I. As his best apprentice, we'll have to stop you. You have something super important to say to us? This is super important. Wow. We have his wallet. Hugo, you jerk. <laughs> Hugo, we're trying to return his wallet. Go ahead, try and bite me. Staticky. Zappity zap zap. No, 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 Flapper. Or I can use Aqua Jet. Nose! My dear Flapples. Arr, you're gonna pay for this. Skip Loom! Mega Drain! Much better! Ouchies! Well, in that case, I'll take that! that they eat up the rest of your cup. Or I could use Aqua Jet. No, skip Well, in that case, then. Waxwell, you're up. Whack him with the wing attack. Boom! Slam! Come on and slam! And welcome to the jam! Mm. It's good, but its accuracy throws me off, so nope! He thinks we're a tad under leveled for this side of the map. Well, we'll see. Launcher? Why not, Zoybert? 
Take this. Big meaty claws. Keep holding your claws there. Well, in the meantime, folks, while we're wrapping up this battle, what is our raid message for the night? Youch! Gotcha! Because I sadly don't think we're going to get to the next gem tonight like I wanted to intend to do it. But it's okay. We did take out one of Team Star's bases, so we did make some progress. Sure, Air Slash, it's more powerful. Take that, Hugo! Shucks, I let old man Kofu down. You arrived at your destination! Yay! Dang it, that backfired. Now my wall is empty too. Hey, yeah, uh, step right up and tell me, what's all the ruckus about over here? Oh, old man Kung Fu! Seems like this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here for a little walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? I have your wallet! Valton, Veluza, my wallet! Say what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me? That's a huge help! Thanks for coming all this way! I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice, too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at the Porto Marina da Auction that I really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find I'd forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Hmm? Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here the legendary Wakame Seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Fulton Beluza! I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of ingredient nutrients. And just look at it! Look how it catches the light and shines so brilliantly! Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean! I need to get me some of that. Now listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at the gym, you're gonna need some smarts. This is the perfect place to test you. Get the wing bit on that seaweed for this old man. What's a winning bit? Compete with the other customers. Go get it. 50,000? Uh, thank you. Make the winning bid at the auction. Owen's legendary Wakami seaweed. We'll start the bidding at 10,000. 15,000. Do I hear more? 20,000! 30,000! Do I hear more? 40! What a big spender! What in the world? Sold! Well done, kid. Guess I lost. One gajillion dollars! That was amazing! You put those grown-up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking that now if you don't mind. This seaweed's a great catch. I'd be feeling low as the seabed as if I'd failed to get my hands on it. If there's any way that if there's any of that money I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you'd like. I'm in back to getting back to the gym now. Old man Kofu is gonna prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. You passed! But now we can speed travel back to the gym. Yep! At least I think so. Sure we can! Go! And now the gym's open! Next time on Pokemon Violet, we'll take on this gym and then see where to go from there! But first, I must heal!
I must heal my team. <laughs> Auctions are just fancy game wounds. Yes. Come again and see us. Also, before I save, do I have any experience candy left, I wonder? Maybe give some to Flaffy, because I think she'll need it. I don't think so, sadly. Bummer! That's okay. We're just gonna have to work hard at the gym. You can do it, Flaffy. Save me adventure! Alright! He's a good Flappy! He's a cutie Flappy! The question though is for me, do I keep on grinding on stream or should I do a little grinding off stream? Hmm... We shall see! Decisions, decisions! But first, now... Who to go with? Lots of people streaming tonight. Hmm. Lots of people streaming. How about? Lots of peeps. Who to choose? As for the raid message, I kind of like the cave decks because <laughs> of that screw up in the cave. Oops! This is what happens when you do. Oh, Flappy fell asleep. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Ah, eh, what the hell? Let's go raid Reversal, who is also playing Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. He's doing a 100% playthrough. Hmm. So he's, he's definitely way further ahead than I am. So I'm going to have to duck out after he looks at the raid. So. And he did find a couple shinies. But yes, go give him some love. He's a good content creator. And I will see y'all tomorrow for some Sonic Frontiers. We can wrap up the second island and start the third island. So until then, bye.